Good morning from Bali. I'm very pleased to present our rescue of Hina, or Hyena, as she was originally called. She was a dog that was thrown away at the temple. I hope you enjoy. Hello. So here's a brand, new, another brand new dumped puppy. We can't really get close to her, but we've got some food down for her there. She's so she's so shy, so she just just ran off. But I got quite close to her. We'll keep coming back and trying to trying to help her. Yes, I'm talking about you. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can get her adopted eventually. But um, at the moment, we can't really get that close to her. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hello again, sweetheart. Come on, it's okay. I've got food. I've got food. This for you. Come on. Here, look. It's food for you. I'm slowly backing away. I'm not sure if you can see her, but she's she's so she's so skittish. She was actually more friendly to me like the other night, but she's like there. I don't know if you can see. Um, but she ate a bit of food, which is good. And yeah, hopefully, eventually, I'll be able to get close to her and pick her up, and you never know, get her adopted. Yeah, I'm talking about you. After this, I never met Hina again. I went back several, several times and I couldn't see her and I feared the worst. And then one day I was driving along in a road quite a while away. And then there she was on the side of the road. And I was like, stop, stop, stop. We've got to, we've got to pick her up. That's her. So I'd found her, but I didn't know what to do because I knew that she wasn't going to let me get anywhere near her. Just like last time, she was such a scared dog. From the times I'd met her before, she wasn't really interested in me. But this time, I think she remembered who I was. And I guess she remembered that I was the guy who was trying to give her some food and to try and help her before. I think she was probably scared and confused in the street. She'd gone a long, long way from the temple area. So I don't know if anyone remembers her, but a couple of weeks ago, I found this dog. And uh, Naga and I had given her some medication. But she was so nervous, I couldn't get anywhere near her. Anyway, I've been to look for her a couple of times since and couldn't find her. And then all of a sudden, I'm driving maybe like a couple of kilometers away. And she's here, so I'm gonna... We've already made friends, so I'm gonna pick her up and get her to the vet now. I need to give you a name that's fitting. How friendly you are now all of a sudden for some reason. Oh, hello. Good girl. Let's get you to the vet. Be safe at the vet. Do you know you're safe? Do you? Yeah, you know, don't you? You know. Hey. Oh, sweetheart, look at you. Look at you. It was amazing. We got her to the vet and she was a completely different dog to the one I'd found on the street. She wanted to play. She was really sort of happy. I think she must have had an owner at some point or another. I don't know, I uh, call me sentimental, but uh, I think she knows where she, that she's safe now. Oh. I think it was just a switch in her mind where she was like, okay, these humans are gonna help me, now I'm safe. I've called her hyena for now. Where are we going? Are you happy you were rescued? It was absolutely lovely to see her so happy and to see this personality change where she knows that she's safe. She stayed in the vet for a few days and was so, so friendly. So friendly now. Eh? Do you remember when you'd run away from me? Come on, let's go. Let's go. So today, Hina, the princess warrior, is going to be spayed. No, we got some more new fur. She'll be, she'll be pretty in no time. She's already been sterilized. She stayed at the vet clinic for a while, but the good news was she didn't have any long-term illnesses. It was just the skin condition that needed fixing, so I needed to work out what to do. As she didn't need to stay in the vet anymore, I took her to a dog hotel where my plan was that she'd recover and all her fur would grow back and we'd hopefully be able to find her an adopter. 
So yeah, over the next few weeks, she stayed in the dog hotel. She got better and better. I went to visit her as much as possible. And it was really nice to see all of her fur. All those patches started filling in with brand new fur. And she was just ridiculously friendly. She'd gone from this dog who I couldn't get near to a dog that just wanted to spend time with humans. And it was so nice to see her turn around. So, Hina is well on her way to recovery. She's already been sterilized and vaccinated. And then I'm just keeping her in here for now until I can find her a new home. So, fingers crossed, if you keep the way you're going, I can hopefully find her a new home soon. Hey. So we've just been chilling like this for a while. It's. I'm just amazed to see the difference in this dog. That I couldn't get anywhere near her, and she just ran away from me, and she was just so scared of everyone. And, like, especially the look in her eyes before. She was so, uh, I don't know, like, broken-hearted, but now... She just has love. You just have love in your eyes, don't you? Yes. I'd been searching for a new home for her, and finally the day came where it was time for her to go to her new adopter. I knew I'd miss her, but if I can't get them adopted, I can't continue rescuing other animals too. Anna has just found her new home. Woo! Anna, are you fat now? So fat? Oh, is that your princess? She's living a nice, happy life with her adopters. She's doing, she's doing really well. She sleeps in bed with them at night. It's really nice. Anna, are you happy to see me? Hey, Anna. Hey, Anna. I, I didn't re recognize she was the same dog. She's so fluffy now. To think that Anna had half of her fur missing. All of this glorious fur wasn't here, and she had, like, patches. She's a lovely dog, aren't you, Hina? Aren't you, Hina? I'm really delighted for Hina to see her living this lovely, lovely life. I changed her name a little bit from Hyena to Hina. I thought it was a bit more appropriate because she doesn't look like a hyena anymore. Thank you to everybody who supports me, who supports Sun and Sage. Without you, I wouldn't be able to rescue dogs like Hina. Thank you. If Hina's story has impacted you at all, I hope you can consider choosing veganism. This is the best way that we can be kind to all animals, not just dogs.